Just before I talk about today's video, I would just like to let you know that I will be releasing my assertiveness course just before the end of the month. It will be in a PDF format, so it's mostly in written form, but there will be examples in there. There will be a lot of information on how to be assertive on different communication styles and who this is useful for. So if you are somebody who is quite passive or if you grew up in a home with dysfunctional parents, then this course will be very useful for you. It will help you feel more secure in your communication with other people, especially if those people are quite difficult to communicate with. It will increase your confidence and you will get your needs met because being assertive is all about getting your needs met in an appropriate and respectful way. So if you are interested in this new course, then it will be accessible via my Patreon page. All you need to do is click on the link. So I really, really hope that it's helpful. And I will do a video just for this course when it is complete and I will let you know so you can access it early. So on to today's topic. The video today will be about parental alienation. Now, this is something that happens when two parents are either in the process of separating or when the parents are still living together but don't like each other very much and they make the child take sides. So basically one parent convinces the child that the other parent is evil or is bad and that they shouldn't love that parent. Now, how does parental alienation happen? This only happens in a dysfunctional family home. It only happens when the parents are angry and bitter and are not in a healthy, loving relationship. It happens when one of the parents wants the child to only love them and to not love their partner because maybe they hate their partner because maybe their partner cheated on them and they don't want the child to love that parent anymore. Now, what does parental alienation look like? Well, usually one parent will criticize the other parent. The child will hear derogatory comments. They will tell the child stories about the other parent that may not be true. They will always talk about the other parent in a bad light, portraying their bad side. They will constantly focus on the other parent's faults. They will highlight their mistakes and they will draw sort of comparisons with themselves and the other parent. So they will make themselves look good, whereas the other parent will always be made to look bad. If the child is only living with one parent, then that parent will discourage the child to have any contact with the other parent. They will not allow any visits or they will keep visits inappropriately short, or the visits will only happen if both parents are present. They may move to another location, so it's harder to see the other parent. They may forget certain visitation rights if there, you know, if there's been a legal separation, if there's been a divorce, then there'll be certain visitation days, so they will probably just pretend to forget. They will deny phone contact, so they will not allow the child to talk to the other parent on the phone so they may sabotage any phone contact so if the other parent tries to call they may ignore the phone call or they might turn the phone off um, or they will conveniently be out and they'll leave the phone at home and the worst thing that a parent can do is that they will intimidate their child they will make the child feel bad for wanting contact with the other parent they will make the child feel bad for loving the other parent and they will criticize the child and they will punish the child for wanting to see or talk to the other parent. They will make the child do strange things like extra chores or they will ask them to do certain tests and if they pass a test only then will they be rewarded to see the other parent. It's just a very, very sad situation for the child. Parental alienation is a form of child abuse. It's a form of emotional child abuse because you cannot make a child choose between its parents. It loves both its parents. If the child is told that one parent is bad, then they will feel as though they are bad because they are part of that parent. They are part of both of their parents. So a child will then feel 
shame and it will feel guilt and it will feel fear. So what can you do to prevent this from happening? What can you do to make sure that your child doesn't get hurt in the process when you are in the middle of a separation or you're in the middle of a divorce? Make sure that you put the child's best interests ahead of your own personal feelings towards your ex-partner. Allow your child to freely express their love for the other parent, regardless of how much you may think that that parent deserves it. Tell your child that you love them. Praise your child for its accomplishments. Encourage them to be who they are and do not punish the child if they want to spend time with the other parent. Be consistent and be reliable. If you make a promise, especially if that promise is about visiting the other parent, make sure you keep that promise. Do not break that promise. It is important. If you feel that your ex-partner is trying to alienate you from your child, then document any incidents where this may happen. Make sure that you communicate with the other parent in writing. Get a lawyer involved if you must. So that is the end of the video. I hope you found it useful. If you have any questions, then please leave a comment below and click on the subscribe button if you haven't already. And also don't forget to check out my Patreon page. Thanks so much for tuning in and I will see you in my next video. Take care. Bye.